been lately thinking a lot about aging and I thought that I would do a little draw along, paint along video to discuss my thoughts on the subject. More to hear my own thoughts on it because it's kind of going around and around in my head a lot. I suppose I've been thinking about it because I am aging. <laughs> I'm 33 and I am looking around me and seeing a lot of people pausing their aging or attempting to pause it like there's a lot of language around anti-aging and there's a lot of Botox and fillers a lot of plastic surgery going on to stop it and a lot of messaging like a ton of messaging about how aging is bad anti-aging anti-aging don't age skincare do the skincare do this 10 step skincare regime retinol vitamin C, SPF, even though I do think SPF is important, <laughs> but yeah, just a ton of messaging and I am just the type of person who, I can't do things without thinking about them deeply, like, well, not everything, um, but for example, I haven't dyed my hair yet, I, I put highlights in once, but they've grown out. Um, I put the highlights in actually to cover some of my greys that were starting to come in. Um, don't know, you can probably see some there. Um, but I actually hated it, so I grew it out, and that's the only that's the only time. So this is my natural color, and I I'm now almost daily thinking, what's the plan? Like, what's the plan? How am I gonna deal with these grey hairs? How am I gonna I don't know cover them or like, and I suppose I've always had this idea that I would age gracefully and naturally. And that's easy to say when you're 19, but when the effects are starting to happen, it's slightly less easy because I don't know if I love the way the greys look, you know? I, and I do think there's possibly an awkward stage between when you're starting to go grey and then when you have this lovely head of full grey hair. And there's something like I've heard salt and pepper on women described as unkempt, which I think is absolutely horrible, but it's true. I hear it all the time. Like I heard it from a hairdresser. Um, and I don't really know what to do. It. Sorry, I just saw the moon. It's tiny. I suppose this question of how to deal with age. about because I've enjoyed everything about age I really have I am loving aging I don't care anymore what people think well I'm getting there but like I really don't <laughs> care that much what people think and I was crippled by that as a young you know 18 19 20 through my 20s yeah, crippled with what people, and I still am to a degree. I have, I am shy at times, but it's getting to the stage where I'm so much more comfortable, even what I'm doing here. I don't really care. I care what I think, and that has only come about with age. And so, the idea of stopping the signs of aging or covering up the signs of age it just doesn't sit right with me because it's like how can something so good be rejected you know why do we reject age as society why why do we i know youth is so beautiful <coughs> I'm currently studying with young people. I am um, a mature student and I know how 
gorgeous youth is. It is stunning. Yeah, their skin, they're just, they're beautiful. Um, but they're crippled inside a little bit and they don't, they haven't yet grown wise. And why is it that our society holds these people up on a pedestal? Holds youth up on a pedestal? I know we really, as a society, like beauty is something that's very important. And I suppose there's probably something there to do with them. Um, biology, which is like reproduction. And, and then historically, we probably didn't live that long. So, you know, maybe your 20s were a bigger deal in the landscape of your life but yeah kind of just rambling here I probably won't get Botox I'd love to age as gracefully as Vivian Westwood or a huge number of other women and I have great examples in my mother and my grandmother. And what what I'm definitely not trying to do is judge anyone for injecting, for dyeing their hair. Dying their dyeing your hair is just as common as brushing your teeth. It's everybody does it <laughs> pretty much. The majority of them and I I would do not have statistics but I would say the majority of women dye their hair and at some stage in their life and I probably will too but I can't do it without thinking in depth about it.